Okay, I've downloaded the template. This is the template that somebody unposted on the forum there. Just view the source. Just show that it's the actual template. Okay, I'm going to close that. And this is the page I'm going to put it on. I'm going to write it over a theme I did for another site called Yaza. And that's the page I made. Okay, so first thing, I already grabbed the template off that server. And here it is here. And here is the template that we want to converse. First thing I'm going to do is grab my style sheet, take everything in it, and then put it into the style sheet for the theme. I'm going to name it um, for warrior form. Okay. Next I'm going to grab all the images out of this one. Copy delete the image set of the other theme and paste next thing I gotta do is take this screenshot into Photoshop then I gotta grab a screenshot of the the other thing print screen on that paste that in you can hear my little one there that's close enough merge them layers and save now I'm ready to start doing the template code. So first thing I gotta do is my header. <coughs> this is the current header here. I'm gonna just double check to make sure there's nothing in it that I don't want. It's styles. And then I'm gonna take out all the code for the header. I'm going to grab the index file and edit it. I'm going to go from here down to the main bar and paste that in here. Save my header. Next thing I'm going to do is grab one of these articles. We're not going to use all of this, but we're going to put it into the page template. And if I can find where I put the theme here. We're going to put this into the page file underneath there. We're going to get rid of the junk because there's no point in having any of that stuff in our page template. Next step, I'm going to grab my footer, my sidebar, I mean, take that. Put it in my sidebar. I'm going to take everything out of here except for this dynamic sidebar code. Take that out. Move the dynamic sidebar code up into the sidebar. And save. And then we're going to grab our footer code. Everything but the body and close and the HTML close. We can close that out now. And then we can go to footer and we're going to go right down to where the, the footer loop is and we're going to say for 4 minutes and 8 seconds now I just got to copy this over onto my server and close all this I'm going to minimize this for a second rename this folder for it doesn't conflict warrior template I'm going to copy that and put it in my themes folder. Okay, we got that over here. There's the template I was using, there's the new one. Next we're going to open this up and go into the admin. 
we're gonna go into the tempting the parents find the new template that we just put in here it should be here there it is we're gonna activate and we're gonna go back to the page and there you have it Just to show you that it's actually WordPress running here. There's the the CSS. We're at 535, and that included installing the theme into WordPress. And you'll notice I got the the same page that I had before. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, me and my partner are going to be doing a lot of how-to videos and tutorials on WordPress, and look forward to seniors and teaching is everything you need to know about WordPress. Great. All right. Bye.